Hey you guys, welcome to Get You Sear YouTube channel. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Remember to create good memories. Um, so let's look at, thank, thank all my old supporters, my new subscribers, let's get started. Oh, you ever just wake up and go, it was on my spirit, mad topics, mad ass topics. And this topic is, um, it's like um, um, my hot topics and my terathon, you know, whatever. But this topic is, um, um, why do you pick um, this fake man or fake woman over me? And you could have had the real. And you could have had the real. Let's ask this man or woman that you um, love. It could be your crush, your ex-husband, your wife, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your significant other, your partner, situation shift, friends with benefits. Um, maybe, you know, um, somebody you met online. Somebody talk to the DM, you know, linking up. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's too many. Um, common law, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner. But why do you pick this fake man, fake woman, and you could have had the real? All right, collective, you the real. Let's see why they picked this um fake person over you somebody they stay with somebody new somebody they got history with whatever you just feel like this man or woman's fake it has nothing to do with um race ethnic group um social backgrounds certification certificate skills creativity singing not singing dancing drama writers journalists actor none of that it just has to do with you feel like this man is fake you feel like this woman is fake they want to be why you pick this fake wannabe over me when you could have had the real why you pick this fake wannabe over me when you could have had the real why you pick this fake wannabe let's ask him or let's ask her why you pick this fake wannabe over me and you could have had the real because you walked away from them or they walked away from you or you don't take they shit the wannabe takes they shit they're gonna idolize her or him feed their ego deal with they shit their addictions they um narcissistic tendencies their gaslighting their manipulation tactics their emotional bullying and psychological physical um 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 things that they put them through but you as a man or woman you walk away from that the real gonna walk away from that the, the wannabes are gonna stay or the wannabes keep cycling and coming back but when you walk away as a man or woman you walk away so why did you why do you, um so you're asking them why do you why did you pick this wannabe over me um this fake wannabe man or woman my wife is burning when you could have had the real because you walk away you walk away, and maybe when they walked away from you you know how to turn your back and walk away from them and the wannabes don't all right so why do you pick this fake wannabe man or woman over the collective oh y'all see that financially strapping it went upside down because maybe they take care of them maybe the fake um wannabes take care of them maybe they don't mind them if they you know procrastinate or they have a lack of ambition or they keep um maybe they're very ambition 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 ambitious but they keep um, meeting dead ends or they keep start stopping um things or they're not really fully um acquis i can't say the word don't say words you can't say they haven't really reached their full potential well the wannabes don't care if they reach their full potential they don't care if their money they don't care about funny money remember Macy's talking about don't even talk to people with funny money or um or if they're or if they're big dreamers and they never really self actualized that's what I'm trying to say or they keep circling and cycling and doing the same shit and getting the same um outcome you know I'm supposed to be mad right you know what I'm saying mad Terry have fun somebody in the comments go I didn't like that Rena and you seem miserable mad well I'm mad today damn it how you like that mad i'm mad right i'm gonna do my reading any way i want and since i'm mad today then i think this would be a good time for you to block mute or don't or, or don't watch right because i'm gonna do this reading right whatever temperament i take i'm gonna be terry and that's the difference between me and you i can stand in my own truth but can you stand in yours some days i have good days and some days i have bad days but it is what it is right and that's and that's it and that's funny because i feel like you guys are more authentic you're more true to yourself and the wannabes aren't you're real you keep it real you're real you're the real man and you're the real woman and they don't they don't like that or they don't want that or they're not used to that or they're not accustomed to that or it's too much work and so why did you pick this fake wannabe over um you um and they could you could be married to this man or woman right they could be messing with um side mr and mrs Tory side piece or in situation shifts or you could have been crushing on somebody you go you wanted her you wanted him you could have had the real you could have had the real but this is what this is what you're asking right came on my spirit or you could have talked to him in the dm well i've talked to you this way i promise promoted you this way i encourage you i supported you this way but you'd rather be around this fake wannabe man a fake wannabe and talk to this fake wannabe man or talk to this fake wannabe woman 
Um, and you could have had the real, you know what I'm saying? And it does have to do with m finances because this man or woman could be very, amb they could be very ambitious, right? Or they could lack ambitious, but they could become financially strapped or they make bad in this bad investments or they burn bridges. Like they're not getting gigs or contracts or promotions or work as you or like they used to, or they just up and down and not really stable. They come across stable at, well, sometimes in their life they meet, meet these epitomies and they hit benchmarks and sometimes they take so many steps back and they, when you want them to be more consistent you know you know have more of a guidance and give them encouragement support but the wannabes like i'm going to take you anywhere i can take you because i'm just glad to probably have sex with you be with you and then plus the wannabes might be fake you know how like some people get a little um um I, i'm gonna be very careful some people get a little bit of something or you know something and then they go oh this is who i am this is what i do um see me like this listen to me talk um let me motivate you I me mean, like you can't even motivate yourself you know what i'm saying how you gonna motivate me i'm paying for your services you can't even motivate me you you stuck on somebody that's um that um that's um that's low vibration you get what i'm saying i'm just making it up because i don't i don't want to offend anybody but it's like that you know what i mean you know you accept this man or woman you're an enabler you're codependent and so it's easier it's easier so why do they why would you why did this man or woman um choose a want to be over you over you it's, it has to do with money it has to do with finance it has to do with stability it has to do with the way they feed their ego um yeah and the way they come at them right all right and i think the wannabes allow them to allow them to have more space to to fail right which is good to fail because you out of fail you learn right you have to fail but they constantly keep repeating the same cycles where the wannabes are like well i'm okay with that where you could be as men and women no no you need to go back in there restructure you know your life figure some shit out some behavior modification make some changes because what you're doing is you're getting the same outcome and i think that you're more of a positive optimistic um, approach to life, you know what I'm saying, different views, different approaches, where the wannabes are, they kind of get in um, and go along to get along, you heard that old saying, right, people say that back, they used to, they go go along to get along, whatever, hold on, oh, please don't come off this chair, my side says, hold on, y'all, <laughs> my nose, um, yeah, why you choose this wannabe um, woman or man over me, I'm seeing strap, but I also see trap, they could be trapped. They could have got themselves in some situations where they can't get out of. And so they, if they don't want to be with the wannabes, they have to be there. Maybe financial obligations. Maybe they feel accountable um, to this person. Maybe they made some punk-ass promises under some romantic illusions that they can't keep uh, up with. Maybe they um, painted a pretty picture and the wannabes is when they started revealing their onion and the wannabes started seeing who they really were and they started seeing who the wannabes was, just wannabes and they wasn't a real deal neither. Next thing you know, they trauma bonding or they fake bonding or they, you know, or they pretending I love you, you love me, Barney and shit song, I don't want to write to that. You know what I mean? But it's all fake. It's a fantasy and it's an illusion and the wannabes allow them to, because the wannabes aren't real and they weren't real, the person that you were in love with or they wasn't facing a reality and seeing a clear vision of why they chose the wannabes but the wannabes is more you know what i'm saying well we both we both finding out some shit because don't go behind the curtain remember oz go don't go behind the curtain the man behind the curtain ignore the person behind the curtain you guys are like dorothy um tito i'm not ignoring shit <laughs> i'm going behind the curtain who is oz you get what i'm saying but oz is actually was a really great man he was an innovator he invented that balloon and he flew off or he wanted to take a balloon ride he wanted to go to uncharted waters and he wanted to discover stuff and he was very optimistic because you had to have the kahootsa right the fortitude to want to um to venture out and he flew into oz right i own the copyrights is my little version of um wizard of oz that book was written in 1952 i think i don't remember i used to be in love with the wizard of oz but at the end of the day you were reminding the person that you was always oz you didn't have to put on the fake persona and perpetrate the fire where the wannabes is just continue they might not say it but the action said keep pretending to per perpetrate this fraud not be this woman or man that i know you can be and i'm okay with that because i'm a wannabe too where well, you're saying no you don't gotta fake shit you don't gotta put on masks you know do your healing or be the man or woman that you that you were i know that you can be you know what i'm saying you were you were somebody before you created this oz I don't want to copyright that, but y'all get what I'm saying, right? Let's see, why did you choose this fake one to be over me? Let's do a quick tarathon today before I get out here on a Saturday. Let's do, yeah, why did you choose this fake one to be over me? Ooh. This person could be an air sign. They say they want you, though. This is funny. This person that you that they chose over you could be, what is that, a Libra, a Aquarius, or a Gemini? Or this person that you're asking about could be, you know, one of those signs, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Or they could be two faces. A man and woman you care about could be two faces. They could be a people pleaser. They play both sides. You know what I'm saying? Where they want to be more real, but then they operate out the fake. So they could be some in some kind of power struggle, identity struggle, sexual sexuality struggle, um, um, trying um, economic background struggle, where they really came from, who they really are. You know what I'm saying? Or trying to be somebody like you know how people go. I'm coming from the trailer parts. I'm coming from the hills of Appalachia. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from the hood. I'm from the projects. I'm from the streets and everything. But you don't live there no more. <laughs> you don't buy you a house. You don't got you a car. You got kids graduating from college. You're not that same woman and that same man. And they still trying to have one foot in and one foot out or i'm from beverly hills or i'm very very wealthy you know what i'm saying but you went from rags to riches riches to rags when you down here now you know you ain't even got that money no more you know what i'm saying you're not that same chick you're not that same man you know you down here like everybody else working nine to five you ain't got that silver spoon anymore so they could have one foot in and one foot out where the and where the um the wannabes that they um chose over you they could be glamorized by their lifestyle or what they present to them or what they communicate and how they convey it and process it to them so they seeing this man or woman bigger than life or you know they got some street cred or they from the hoods or the ghetto or we from the same hometown you know what i'm saying we do the same thing we have the same failures that a lot of that um type of shit where you're more realistic as men and women are right for this burning you're the real and they rather deal with the fake right but they want you though what's this next card yeah and they want to spend quality time with you right but they avoid the truth they avoid they know they would want to be they know they would she know or he he or she know they would want to be man she knows she would want to be woman or want to be man. Um, LGBTQ, woman, woman, man, man, alien, alien, cyclops, heterosexual. I don't care. They are, they avoid the truth. But with the wannabes, they don't have to um, even think about it. They don't even have to um, venture out into the uncharted territories of reality. Reality. They don't have to. They can avoid it. They can avoid it by being with the wannabes. Anything else? Why did they pick this wannabe over you? It's mad Tara. Relationship sneaky. Because... They can be sneak, they can get, let me just say this, they can get away with a lot of stuff with the wannabes, right? With you, you want a real f solid relationship. Now, they could be with the wannabes now, he with whoever you consider, like he, she with this wannabe. Maybe they want to be you. Maybe they copy you and want to be like you, talk like you, walk like you, dress like you, think like you, get the degrees you got, or write the books you write, or a journalist, or CNA, or you're a teacher, or you're a coach, or you're a musician, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Maybe you sing, um, maybe you draw, maybe you're a parent, a single parent good single parent men and women you know maybe you're a good friend it's like that like they want to be maybe you got a um, instagram facebook tarot card channel maybe you communicate maybe you went back to school got your ged maybe you turned your life around maybe you were incarcerated maybe you have some addictions or you know maybe you felt like you weren't supported in life but you started supporting yourself self-love like the wannabes want to be you right i'm not saying you perfect collective i'm saying you turned your life around to the fact that now the wannabes want to be you but you, but you've done a lot of healing you've done a lot of group growth so maybe at one time you could have been a wannabe collective i'm sorry you know what i mean but you changed a lot some of you could wasn't one of these you just stood on your own you were leaders you were outcasts you were ostracized you were black sheep you know what i'm saying where the wannabes talk about you but you you were different you stood in on you had roots down you stood on your own two feet as men and women and where they they, they don't have to do all that they could just let this man or woman see be sneaky like she looking like i'll be glad when he go to sleep you know what i'm saying because he playing games on the thing because i want to talk to my woman i want to talk to my man you know what i mean or I, i'm doing something that's not, deceptive there's some illusions or he or he's like i hope she sleep because i'm checking out this man i'm checking out this woman and then they're not fussing about it they know the energy they know that's not really connected but they fake this relationship because at one time it was very caring it was very loving maybe the sex was good maybe they had something in common but they were wannabes where you were like i'm not dealing with this sneaky ass deception betrayal lying cheating creeping type um shit illusions and stuff you know what i'm saying and that's why they chose the wannabes over you or they stayed with the wannabes because you want this more realistic thing well you say you want me you say you want quality time and you know you say you want me you know what i'm saying but you ain't got to sneak and the wannabes don't care they don't care and if they do care they don't voice it right because who who wants somebody to put them in a situation shit you're in situation shits and friends with benefits people get mad when i say it because you don't have no other choice you like this man so much you like this woman so much that they define this relationship and so that's why you you had to choose because deep down inside you might just want mono mono with this man or woman or at the same time that could be debunked too you could have a lifestyle where that's all you want is friends as benefits as men and women you don't really want a relationship and y'all want the same y'all want the same thing 
But at the end of the day, somebody's heart is wanting you collective. So they know that somebody's getting cheated out of that type of situation. When I'm in a situation shit with her, her, him, him, you know, him and her. And we both are in agreement with that. But somebody ain't meeting an agreement because somebody's in love with the collective. So somebody just passing time with you as friends with benefits, situationships and entanglements because their heart is really with the collective. Right. So it's a it's a lose lose situation um, for the um, 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 for the wannabes. But for the collectives, it's a win win. But, but, well, that's my my next video. I'm getting ready to do it right now because it's calling me. But they want you, right? But they want you and they love you and you got their heart. Okay, let's kick this. This is why you um um chose these wannabes over 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 the collective. Because they haven't done their shadow work and it's a third party. Third party talks about relationships that have outlived their usefulness and they're broken heart and they sad and trauma or they be functioning. They got nostalgia. The support that was long, was once there is no longer there. Is just something to do. I don't want to hurt his heart. I don't want to break his break her heart or I can't just break away from them or I, they allow me third party to do what I want to do. We, this we talking about third party. Why you pick this one to be over, and, over them? And plus she didn't do her shadow work. He didn't do her shadow work. She didn't deal with her mommy daddy issues and her bad attitude or her addictions or you know maybe she has some um you know sex addictions maybe she's a liar maybe she embellishes maybe she's um you know it, um materialistic chasing the pleasures of life um you know has some dysfunction and uh, ancestral behaviors you know alcoholism um maybe um she's chasing greed or sex something like that it's a woman but it could be easily be a man and so the, the this man or woman that's there with the wannabes they don't care if they do their shadow work we already went there they don't care about their inner core their feelings or their healings or or processing that they don't care they're just glad to be with this man or woman anytime that they can get um yeah so this man or woman didn't do their um shadow work um that inner child that little boy little girl that was broken or they could have been broken as an adolescent right or a young adult um man or woman and it hurts them and they operate out of that and so the it's easier to be with the wannabes because they can put on facades right yeah and then they have their own hidden agendas of what they want um, and what they think they want and how, how the uh, wannabes align in their life, right? Because he or she could be very attractive or they could have that fat ass or they could have fat pockets or they could do the same thing, like the same things. Uh, or they could, um, you know, put band-aids on big wounds. You get what I'm saying? Like they, they provide something and so they'd rather be with the wannabes. Um, or or well, they say they want you, but you're asking why did they choose the wannabe over me? over the real the real because the real person gonna make baby go get you some therapy honey you know what i'm saying or you overweight i need you to get healthy right i need you to get healthy your bmi is, is too high because so, i need you to live right where they want to be eat eat let's eat eat for gluttony you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying knowing that it causes all these different things i'm on this health thing you know what i mean i need you to feel i need you to be emotionally available not emotionally abusive you know i need you to deal with the sexual the mental the physical the spiritual the sexual trauma that you um you've been through i need you to deal with those patterns and behavior that haven't been broken because baby you operate out of that this is what the real does to this man or does to this woman i need you to face reality you chasing a dream that has has it, it, I, i'm not a dream killer but i'm challenging this that it's time to change or make some modifications or get rid of toxic places and things or go back in there and revamp or baby put that dream down for a minute and go chase something else and then when it's time to pick that back up then you go back and pick that back up like you make them face reality or you're getting older or you're young you got to get out there you got to fight for it, you got to work for it you know what i mean everything's not going to be easy you're gonna one day you're gonna get older you know what i'm saying and getting older is a good thing right because some people go you're getting older i tell young people you, you're gonna get older but go ahead and enjoy it while you're young don't take people's youth away you know what i'm saying but you're broken and you got to fix it and that's what you do as the real right yeah and when you ask them i want you what does that mean when you they tell them they want the one they, if they say i want you as the um, the wannabes, the wannabes don't question what does that mean. They, they, you know, whatever this person want, wants them for, sex or money or companionship or trophy husband, trophy wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, or maybe they have history together or whatever because I don't know the dynamics. They don't ask the question. They just glad she want them or she want her or something like that or he want her or he want him. Where well, you guys want to, what you want me for? Why do you like me? Why do you care about me? What direction is, is going? Is this longevity? Because it's the real. When you're dealing with the real, you got to deal with this challenge work you got to deal with this third party you got to deal with this brokenness as a man or woman and so this is why they deal with the wannabes what's this and some of them the wannabes they gave my family a baby or they're engaged or they're together or something like that and so they feel obligated they feel committed they feel like they have to be there or this is what they thought that this is how it was going to be like i'm going to stay there right some of them they haven't had this yet but they want this with the wannabes right because they feel like he or she's going to be a good parent and they probably are I remember i don't try to say things to make people bad you know what i mean and they they see this dream of fantasy with them 
them as a family. Yeah, but it's an illusion. <laughs> it's an illusion because it's a wannabe. You're the person that they should have a family with. I'm not going to say who they have children with because, you know, children are blessings and stuff like that. But it's just an illusion. Like they picture this, you know, we're going to have this perfect family with the wannabes, but they're wannabes. It's the wrong person. It's the wrong person because it's an illusion. But they want to talk to you. This person wants to talk to you because they made the realize that they, realization that they're with wannabes. They're with wannabes, right? But they could be committed. See how she's committed to him? Or some kind of situationship or friends with benefits, but she's thinking about somebody else. She should be paying attention to him. But they got themselves in something they feel obligated and committed to. And the wannabes provided that seduction, that fantasy that they so much needed. And they, a lot of them could be empty handed. I see opportunists. I see men and women who could be feeling sorry for yourself, suffering from low self esteem, finances in between finances and careers, and you know maybe in and out of jobs. Or they could be very much um, rich and entrepreneur, but their money's not really coming in like it used to. And and so they stay with the wannabes because they provide something for them. They got a message. This person wants to communicate. I'm getting a lot of communication, right? They want intimacy. They want to communicate with you. They've been doing a lot of self um, thinking, right? They've been get, learning about self love and realizing that that woman and man that was with the wannabes attracted them at that at time. And now the more that they see themselves and understand themselves and learn about themselves, their vibration becomes higher. Now they starting to see that this man and woman are wannabes. Anything else? Yes, they're coming into their own, which is funny. Look how confident he is. Yeah. And the wannabes provided that friends with benefits aspect. This man and woman is becoming healed. Look at that. They're doing their healing. And when they were emotionally unavailable, they didn't see it. And the, and the wannabes didn't ask them to be emotionally available. But now they're becoming healing. They're doing their healing. They're working on their healing. And now they're realizing, you know, when you start waking up, you like, you start cutting out talks, people, places, and things. And you hate that because you want everybody to go. But the more you get healed, you like, your conversation don't even seem right. You don't even talk right. You don't walk right. You don't sound right. You ain't processing information information right i keep talking about projection i keep talking about feelings and you know projection like when you they get around these wannabes be, be, they may like drama and chaos and confusion they might claim they don't whatever background social economic status they're in but there's always some confusion and some drama and some chaos guaranteed with the wannabes right but when they get around on um, the real you know what i'm saying we ain't got to deal all, all that because you're doing your healing you're on a high vibration we should be traveling or we should be doing uh, other things and learning about different things right look at that car look look responsibilities person could, they might not care about them being non-committal non being immature men and women and they're just karmics they they're with the wannabes because they know that they're karmic men and women that they're supposed to learn lessons from they did feel like they have a very strong connection i mean chemistry with the wannabes i'm not gonna lie because you got to have something to make them want to be there whether it's money sex they felt like it's great chemistry but she's looking at somebody else and she's saying i got chemistry with you but i, I want an intimacy with the collectives right and then they also feel like they have a lot of responsibilities you know they could be married to these people or, or you know, commitments or they could work together. You could be co-workers or they help each other, something like that, some kind of love language, something like that, or the, or the wannabes depend on them. But they know that they're, they're wannabes, that they're supposed to learn a karmic, um, um, a, a karmic spiritual lesson and keep it moving. So they're not dumb. They're definitely not dumb. And then they feel like it's complicated. Maybe with you, maybe they feel like you're more complicated. Maybe they feel like the wannabes are more um, easier to deal with. Or maybe they feel like the wannabes is complicated and they can't explain why they're with the wannabes. You know what I mean? It's just complicated. Let's kick these. Why are they with the wannabes, men and women, and they not with the real, which is the collective? I'm sorry. I'm all over the place trying to get this in so I can get dressed. Why are they with the wannabes, um, men and women? Woo, look at that. Hope coming, desperation, poverty, a lot of financial loss. And this man and woman could be going through some money. Some part this came upside down. They could be going through some money, um, some some money things. I think they provided something at that time, right? Because this is this is short term energy and it came upside down. And I think they starting to make the realization that they don't want short term, fast fix, quick fix relationships anymore, or so convenient that there's no intimacy, there's no real love. I think at one time it did provide a purpose, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Maybe they have some addictions, maybe their money wasn't um, right, maybe they fed his or her ego, tell them that they this, tell them that they that, maybe they were yes people, and it was temporary, maybe it was very seductive, maybe it was based on sex, um, you know, um, what is it, those for, them, um, them hormones that, you know, gets them excited maybe they like the idea of being in love or chased or hunted um but it's, it's short-lived you know what i mean maybe it wasn't concrete maybe it was wavy maybe that was what it, they needed maybe they, they needed somebody to fit in their life at that time which, which is not a, a long 
long, right? And the five of coins came upside down. So that tells me maybe this person is now they're starting to get financially stable and maybe they want something more long-term and they're tired of quick fixes and they see that the, what, what was birthed out of quick fixes, right? The drama, the instability, the cycling, the, the um, low vibration, the toxicity, right? So they're waking up, right? So why did you pick the wannabes? So they want you to know that. Then I think this man or woman wants you to know they know that these people are wannabes and you're the real deal. But they got themselves in a situation and now they got to get themselves out of it. Why did you pick the wannabes over the um, collectives? Why you pick the wannabe men and women over the um, collectives? The real love that you could have. Look at that, the lovers. Um, the lover talks about having a choice between two people. Um, one is low vibration and one is high vibration. You see she's a zombie, right? And so I feel like they did. They chose, they chose, um, it, it was blurred. It was very blurred. The lines were blurred. They didn't know if it was real love or if it was fantasy or if it was lust or they felt like they had history together. They was in an illusion, right? You know what I mean? But now they have a lot of decision, um, um, decisions to make. Now it says let go of a relationship. They, now they know they have to let go of a relationship. They see how he's holding his finger? You know how you do that pinky switch? or whatever so and he realized he's kissing a zombie so what had happened what what happened was the man and woman woke up and realized that this is a wannabe and i have to let go of this relationship because it's very blurred and i really couldn't see i didn't have a clear vision i care view this is a, a wannabe and this is fake love they could be very spiritual they could be tarot card readers psychic seers doctors engineers lawyers um you know um um, what do you mean to be at the podium and you talk to people? You know, that motivational speakers, um, coaches, um, you know, athletic coaches, or motivational coaches, people with degrees. Um, they could be very attractive athletes, um, you know, construction workers, teachers, um, um, CNN, 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 you know, somebody could work at, at nice places. They could be, you know, singers and do, um, um, actors. Like they could be celebrities. They could be anything that um, you could be. They could be the exact same thing you could be, but they realized that one was fraudulent and a fraud. And a wannabe and that doesn't mean that they didn't have a lot of um characteristics and qualities could, that could quantify or qualify them to be um a real but when they started realizing it and although he loves her dearly and she's beautiful he still made them realize that this is a zombie i'm having a relationship with a zombie i love the zombie but her face is cracking you know what i mean or her skin is um um melting away and then that life that she once had and that light in her eye and that way she was vibration and everything is fading out you get it so when they so if they thought that they had this this wannabe was the real deal, they started turning into a zombie. They started their mask started um 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 coming up um you know coming out. It's like being a vampire. You know what I mean? They look good, but at night they come out at night. You know they say the freaks come out at night. That song, right? I'm on the rights to that. So that's what they're realizing now that you know, and maybe it could have been sex. Maybe it was blurred by sex, by passion, by lust, by greed, by money. So now they realize that. At first, I chose low vibration. Now I have to choose high vibration. And when you pull the devil, the, the lover's card, it talks about choosing wisely and that means that you have a divine order a divine purpose so maybe now this man or woman is elevating and they see their vision in their life and they purpose in their life and their purpose in their life is moved toward uh somebody they have a deep connection with my right foot is burning somebody have a twin flame and maybe they were resistant maybe they didn't want to make that choice maybe they didn't want to see that choice but now they know that they have a clear view and they are with wannabes let me give you the last cards i don't want this to go too long it's up to this why did they choose wannabe they said this one why did they choose wannabes fake a fake love over they could have had real love this could be a crush it could be anybody in in the dm online long distance why they choose this one to be man or woman but eight of cups because you walked away and they didn't know how to walk away now they're learning how to walk away from toxic places and things and confusion and drama you know what i mean maybe they were a black sheep maybe they were late bloomers maybe they got rejected maybe they set themselves up in life where the wannabes worship them or feed their ego or deal with their narcissistic tendencies or their gaslighting or their master manipulation or um you know being methodical or something like that or their sex or something like that but now they learned to walk away right they didn't know how to walk away in their intuition see the higher level frequency you get and the more you learn about yourself then you realize i have to follow my own intuition so now this intuition told this lady and this man that they need to walk away from this fake love and wannabes and move go towards what their intuition tells them and so now they're soul searching they're soul finding right because they didn't see it they seen it they knew it they were inside of the infestation it was growing, it was eroding at them, but it felt good, or it served a purpose, or you know what I mean, or it was like an anesthesia, it kind of numbed you, but you still got to wake up, right, and once they woke up, you know what I mean, then they realized, I, I can't keep doing this, I can't keep cycling, I can't keep doing this, I got to walk away from this, right, the wannabes, let me give you last card for this one, why do they choose the wannabes over you, and I could be wrong, 
hangman because they got some deep ass secrets and it's going to cause some cons cons um, consequences and repercussions. And I do feel like it's going to hurt. It's not going to kill you, but it's going to hurt you. This man or woman, the wannabes probably know a lot of their secrets or maybe they have a hidden lifestyle. Maybe they told some lies. Maybe there were some deceptions, some illusions by some punk ass illusion. Somewhere this woman or man got some secrets and they have to own it with you. And it's very, very hard. Maybe they did you wrong. Maybe they led you on. Maybe they breadcrumbed you. Maybe they ghost you. Maybe they took your money. Maybe they took a bow to be with you through thickness and health or whatever and they weren't you know what I mean maybe they did whatever he or she did or led you on or whatever or gave you vague conversation or, or whatever and you, it wasn't very clear they know that they maybe they did something that they, they're not very happy of right or maybe they ha they haven't stopped some addictions or some lying or some betrayal some deceit they have to own it but with the wannabes it's easier right they can deal with the fake because they live in this illusionary suspended reality where you're going to make this woman or man stand up and say let's face reality and deal with this come on down Come on out of limbo and deal with it. Own your shit. Own your shit so we can move forward, right? Yeah, it's going to hurt. Yeah, because, you know, you make your bed. You got to lie in that bed, right? You know what I'm saying? They did this and they got to own it where the wannabes is like, you know, I already know about it or I don't really want to know about it. I don't even want to hear about it or whatever you did. You get what I'm saying? They can avoid it. Yeah, I'll give you one more card from here. Why did they deal with the, why did they choose the wannabes over you? And I could be wrong. This is 18 plus adult material and language entertainment purposes only. Why did they choose the wannabes over you? It was, just a, it was just a cycle in life. They knew that this person wasn't their destiny. They knew, they knew it wasn't fated, but it was also their destiny to, in, to, um, to you know, meet these people or stay with these people or learn a lesson from these people, right? It's the wheel of fortune, right? But the wheel of fortune goes up and the wheel of fortune goes down and they feel like their time is up with the wannabes. And now it's time to eagle. Eagles are smart. They, they soar higher than everybody, but the snake is under there. So the wannabes was karmic attachments and stuff and lessons that they have to learn, good, bad, or indifferent. And, they, and although you feel like, why well, and he see the goodness in me or she see the goodness in, in me as men and women or why didn't they appreciate me or why did they take me for granted or why did they reject me or overlook me or why did they cheat on me why did they betray me why did they never meet me you know maybe they why didn't they kiss me why didn't they have sex with me why did they pick him or her over me why did they do this and that for them they didn't do that for me why did they use me or take advantage or why did they um didn't even give me an opportunity or a chance to even meet them or talk to them or get to know them trying to cover everybody or why didn't they reinvest in our relationship you know husband wife boyfriend girlfriend partner significant other well the wannabes have a, a a job to do right remember it's a karmic so they had a spiritual lesson so they were supposed to stay or they were supposed to get somebody new or they supposed to still deal with the past or they supposed to go through because they wasn't done learning their spiritual lesson it's the wheel of fortune but now they know that the wheel is coming back around and it's time for me to jump off right because that snake that snake is getting fatter so that means now the snake is showing themselves the wannabes that fake love right they don't want it they want that eagle where they can soar high when you can soar high you can see everything now you can see everything more clearly. So this man and woman can see. They can see a vision for their life. They can see a purpose for their life. They can see the fraudulent, fake, toxic people, places and things that they have to let go of, the interference, so they can move towards you. Yes, they picked a wannabe over you. Yes, they stayed with um, a wannabe fake um, love. And you're the real as men and women. But it was divinely ordered for them to do it. But listen, the story is not finished written yet. Remember, it's the journey. And it's not the destination. And you're their destination, right? You're their destiny. You have a purpose. Let me kick my cards. Why they pick this wannabe over um why they pick this wannabe um woman or man over the collectives? Why they pick the fake over the real? Help me get out of self help me because they're gonna secrets. This, this is the secrets, deception, and illusions because they had a lot of secrets. They wasn't paying attention to their intuition. This is an intuition card. This is a feminine energy. They wasn't paying. They was ignoring it. They was looking at the lobsters and the crabs and the deceit and the deception. Wolves and sheep clothing. They were wolves and sheep clothing. They were doing the same thing the wannabes were doing. We're going to leave it like that because I don't want to be too long, right? They weren't balancing their masculine energy. They weren't ba they weren't balanced in, um, you know, in, um, in, in they were, they were flip-floppy. They had flip-floppy energy. They were playing both sides. They weren't stable. They thought that they could deal with um, the light and the dark, right? You know what I'm saying? Or they went all the way to the dark side. You know, maybe they weren't real comfortable on the, um, the, um, the light side, you know, because they, they weren't really being who they were. They didn't want to deal with the trauma. They let it lay dormant. They didn't want to deal with the reality, right? And the wannabes made it easier, right? And then the wannabes come out of... Um, out the water, lobster. Who don't love lobster? These men and women could have been very enticing, very attractive to them. Beauty's an eye of the hoarder. Or they offered them something, right? But you know, 
it is what it is. And now they realize that the deception and the illusions is, is, is what it was, right? And the brokenness and all that and the hurt and pain, it was still there. It was just laying dormant, right? And with you, you kind of waking something up. You triggered this woman. You triggered this man. And so I'd rather just go with the wannabes because we ain't got to talk about my alcoholism. We ain't got to talk about me being extra. We ain't got to talk about the drugs. We ain't got to talk about me being a bad parent or a bad, um, you know, you know, um, friend, um, you know, or, or bad in relationships or not giving somebody a chance. We ain't got to, we ain't got to talk about, you know, my bad attitude attitude or my big ego or my um preoccupation with money and greed and sex and um you know and lust and we don't got to talk about that we ain't got to talk about my brokenness no we're not talking about no incest or um sex or um abuse or psychological emotional abuses or ancestral um, um patterns of behavior that haven't been broken i ain't got to talk i can just be with the way the, um it could, because it hurts and numbs you got to go through it like i went through it like i've been celibate 11 years i had to go through each and every pain i wanted to talk about shit that i didn't want to talk about but i talked about it right they don't want to do that right they don't want to they want to they don't want to do that shadow work that the shadow like a shadow is dark you know what i mean it hurts it's painful it lays dormant and when they see you and they get around you you make you remind them of that and the wannabe zone they pre present this fantasy this facade and if they do and they argue and they lash out and they cycle up and down with the the um the wannabes the fake love it that's all it is it's a cycle and then they come back and they go back into this pretense um atmosphere but they don't actually let them go all the way through they just kind of walk a little bit and they deal with it you can deal with your alcohol your addictions you know your ego you know what i mean why are you in and out of jobs why can't you commit why you're emotionally unavailable da -da 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 -da. and then they might argue or they break up or something like that but then they pull them back and they start them right back from the beginning where you go you're gonna walk all the way through here to this destination damn it you're gonna walk through this and figure out why are you emotionally unavailable as a woman and man why are you so non-committed what's up with these addictions why can't you have a relationship why can't you be honest why everything has to be an illusion and deception you get what i'm saying why can't you own the shit that you did right and so it's easier with the wannabes let me get your last card why does this man or woman um chose the wannabes over you yeah I feel like they want you to benefit from their long legacy. So they're opening up now, right? They want you to benefit. It took it took some time because now they want to create a legacy. Before it was short term, it was quick fixes. It numbed um, some things that they were going through. But now they want you to benefit. Maybe their friends and family have helped them and open them up their eyes up to you. Or maybe you guys are creating long legacy. Maybe you don't have poverty conscious. Maybe you're moving forward. You're not stuck in the past, and people admire you and look up look up to you. Um, you get what I'm saying? Kids, animals, just different places, and they want to be a part of that maybe they want to benefit from your long legacy they see that you're more happy you're more stable you're more founded you know um you know solid you know let me see your last card why do they um pick the wannabes over you the fake love the fake love over the real issue there you go okay you know what? It's funny because this talks about betrayal, but this also talks and it talks about lies, deception. It's a quick impact. Boom! Something happens. Um, a, it's a catalyst. Something happened. A catalyst for change. So something happened. They needed to, go, like I said, they had to go with the wannabe, stay, move, somebody new or whatever, so they can experience the hardness, hitting that concrete, so they know what it feels like, right? So they can learn some spiritual lessons. But this is also a beautiful card because it talks about transformation. And that's what I said. Now her eyes are open. His eyes are open. They're really, they're ready to deal with the truth. They're ready to walk through all the way to the end, to the finish line, and see what the outcome is. They don't have to go two steps up and take three steps back because the they know the wannabes are going to be there. They're going to be that safety net to keep catching them. But now the wannabes ain't there anymore. They're getting ready to hit this concrete. They got to heal themselves inside, outside, and mentally and physically. And then after that, they want to change. You know, they want to change. Yeah, yeah. So I just feel like this man or woman's immature. They had to grow up. They were chasing everything but you. Yes, they're at the crossroads now. It's a nice car. They're at the crossroads now. Now they have to decide. They have some decisions to make. On which direction do I want to go with my life? Do I want to continue with the one of the um, men and women, the fake love, you know, and all that? They might have some things to like, the same belief systems. Maybe they look alike. Maybe they're in groups. I don't care. Um, maybe they feel like your guys are different different views or visions or purpose. Maybe height, you know, religion, ethnic groups. I, I don't care. It's too much stuff. But at the end of the day, they're at the crossroads now. Now they know it's critical and they have to make a decision. They have to grow up. Yeah. Why did why and sex? They could have chose the wannabes because of sex and desire, right? Maybe it was their preference. Why they choose these wannabes over you? Well, they don't have to they, they don't have to own up to their feelings, right? Because I feel like they really love you. But with the wannabes, they can they can do fake love. I love you, you love me. I don't you love me, we love you. Convince yourself, well, with you, you got is this real love? What what does it mean? What is love to you? You know what I'm saying? Maybe you didn't you, you make you make them invest more into what they're saying, like more action where they can just be with them. Never mind. Y'all get what I'm saying. It's a little complicated. They want a new beginning with you. 
Oh, the wannabes provided choices and options, you know? And, but even though this is romantic illusions, who don't like choices and options? Some of them fine, some of them got money, some of them got degrees, some of them got certificates, skills, some of them got houses, some of them come with drama and, 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 um, and, and deception. And if that man or woman you care about, maybe they like a little drama and deception. Like, they provided a lot of variety, right? But there were a variety and illusions, and they thought that they needed that at that time because it fed something in there. Um, like, it's a self-sabotage where I knew he or she wasn't going to be shit, so now I can move on to somebody else, or I knew it was gonna be like this, or I got something they want, they got something that I I you know I need. And so it gave them a whole variety to say, Well, I told you so, but they were they were living in that fantasy, they weren't in that reality, right? All right, let me get your last card. Why did they pick the wanna be um the same thing because they have some we already went through that they're still they because they have to own some shit. This is a person in limbo, they have some own some shit. And, you know, and it's hard. It's hard to admit that they were wrong or they were deceptive to you or they, they did the wrong thing or, you know, there's some consequences and repercussions. And sometimes men and women don't want to deal with the consequences of repercussions of their bad choices or things that happened to them. Or it don't, it, they might even didn't even do bad choices. Maybe they were sexually and mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally abused or traumatized, right? And they got to deal with that. They got to come down. You got to deal with it. And she or he don't want to deal with it. Or maybe they've done some things to you. Maybe things have done to them. Maybe with some gumbo super mix of both maybe they betrayed lied deceptive you know maybe they were vague but they gotta own it they gotta own it and it's so easier to be with the wannabes and that's just it they gotta own it yeah dealing with the past maybe they're under judgment maybe they're judging their self harshly maybe they judge you harshly maybe the pain of the past hurts and they don't want to deal with it and they don't know how to let go to move forward maybe it's more complacent and comfortable to be in the past you know what i'm saying maybe the people in the past are still doing the same thing they're getting the same outcome so you know i'm in a bandwagon we all in the squad together we all believe the same things they don't believe in growth they say i want you to come support me but you're different compared to their of people so then they make you feel ostracized or outcast but you say you want different you say you want to grow grow but you're still doing the same thing and getting the same outcome but they have those same people that tell them it's okay because we're all here you know we're all um broken we're all sick uh, we all got addictions we all got um um you know turbulent passes well deal with it I mean, they don't have to right so they could be under harsh judgment or they could feel like they're going to get judged very harsh by you or public judgment or internal judgment or you get what i'm saying or they did you wrong and they judge you and they have some remorse so they have a lot of things to pay for but i feel like this man or woman is coming towards you quickly and plus it could have been a one-sided they could have had a hidden motivation you know what i mean they weren't very generous um they wanted everything me me selfish and now they know they have to give it's not all about her it's not all about him it has to be a balance after strike a balance and maybe they ghosted you and they look at that maybe they ghosted you and they you know and it didn't feel good and they know it they, maybe they were intentional and then when they ghosted you they knew it wasn't going to really be long term even if they got married to you or established a relationship they knew they were going to still treat still lie you know maybe they didn't give you an opportunity Maybe they led you on, vague, whatever situation you pay, play. Some of y'all could be Tauruses, Cancers, and Capricorn, or they could be. There's a lot of water here, so you could, they could be a, or you could be, you know, any of the water signs, Pisces, Cancer this cancer sign or scorpio or whatever but they led you on it was a, kind of like a fantasy um and it didn't go anywhere so they have to own a lot of stuff she did but at the end of the day they want to reconcile they want to reconcile because they know that now um they, this is a reconciliation card that you that, that they did choose the wrong person um you know maybe they left you came back or maybe they never gave you an opportunity my past is you could have met the man or woman in a grocery store but they want to come back to you they want to create um connect with you they want to make it right because they know we have the lover's card that this is a deep connection that's divinely order and they can see now and they want you to feel safe and they want look at this marriage card they want you to feel safe they want you to know that you can trust them some people are going to get engaged they want to offer you something maybe it's marriage maybe it's love maybe it's trust maybe it's commitment maybe it's a date it's something loving caring and they want to you know build character and something with you and plus they know it's so strong the chemistry the um the telepathic connection you have the divinely ordered it's just a love there that they can't move away from and the wannabes can't give them that they can't give them that level of intimacy intimacy of caring of love of commitment right um that they want what because it's a spiritual thing they can't break and this they need you to trust them again and, and and the loyalty that you gave them and the friendship and the kindness and the love and the caring and the warmth and the empathy right because some of you guys are in relationships with them some of you're not some of you haven't had that they want to give you they want to offer you something and look at this they want it to be balanced and I, I don't think they get the balance with the um 
with the wannabes, right? I feel like you're more their equal counterpart, right? You know what I'm saying? You can build together. You can work together. It could be successful if you work together as a team. And your differences are going to... You could be the same, look the same, identical. It doesn't matter, but you still have some differences. And they realize that now, that we can build together. We could be a power team. But this person was... They couldn't see. They were cerebral. They were in their head. They got. They know they got to communicate. They got to work together. Um, you know what I'm saying? They got to invest. They got to cooperate. They got to collaborate. It's not me, find me. They're not the only genius. It's a genius card. They're not the only great person in this relationship they have to realize it's two people if we can build together and work together we could have something we could be that power team and and this love there and this this is funny because you could have put your boundaries up and so that's why the wannabes probably don't have boundaries you got boundaries you want clear honest communication you've been hurt as men and women you're not taking they shit you can cut them off uh, where the wannabes ain't gonna cut them off as quick and when you cut them off you cut them off and you keep it moving but this is a beautiful card so we're asking about love so this woman and man wants to invest in you they want to dig up those roots they want to um, till that soil and cultivate it and 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 and, and um, cultivate that soil and they want to water it and dig out those roots and they want to build the relationship. So if it's therapy and addictions that they have to deal with, or if it's learning how to um, you know have a good communication style, and love your know your love language and you know what I'm saying and your communication style, or if they have to learn to be um, be stable and um, emotionally balanced and emotionally intelligent, you know what I mean. If they have to learn how to love all over again and receive love and not be sabotaging it and you know they. Want want to be solid they want to invest this is an invest and this is a good card this will end up being a beautiful reading look at that the king king of swords and, and look at the walking away oh my god we got walking away in all three piles now they want to want to walk away look at my sword of truth so i can end it now they want to walk away from talking to people places and things that no longer serve them they want to walk away from fake love and they want to move towards real love they they're they're done with that because it causes them so much pain and it just laid dormant but it was festering it was growing like cancer it was cankerous um it was eroding their mind their body their spirit their soul and their intuition told them see that's bright move away from the wannabes and the fake love and move toward the real love this is the sword of truth they could see the they can see reality now, right? They're not in a fantasy. They had to do some fact finding. They had to figure some stuff out. Now they want the truth, right? And the truth is that their life is with the wannabes is fake. It's not real. It caused them a lot of psychological and emotional and physical hurt, right? Because this talks about betrayal and deceit and deception. But what they were doing, they were getting backstabbed. They weren't doing nothing but hurting their self being with fake. My right foot is burning. Fake wannabes. They want to move away from chaos. You could have met this person online or let this person online. Chaos. They want calm. There's a lot of intuition here. They want calm. This person spying on you they want calm they want peace they want serenity and you're their peace you're that man you're that woman going to give their peace i want to make sure i look at this the king of swords and the queen of swords is a couple so a lot of you guys could be the queen of swords and men and women and you could have cut them off and this man or woman could be very methodical king of swords very highly intelligent men and women that you're in love with but they're so cerebral they don't know how to feel with their heart and she said look damn it we together i'm going to cut you off so you learn how to give me some emotions everything is not um in your um you know um systematic or organizational or you know logical feel i need you to feel right or i'm gonna cut you off and i feel like um and i feel like you're this person's match and this person realizes that so when they wanted to play those mind games emotionally manipulative and bullying and shit you got right with them you cut them off you cut where's that card you cut them off and you say you're going to give to me the right way everything is not a game or a hidden agenda you're trying to figure shit out or be methodical and manipulative and gaslighting you're going to give to me the 50 50 that we deserve so we can build together so we can have this healthy long relationship and it can be successful if we work together as a team and not um, as um, competitors or, you know, or as deceptive. You know what I'm saying? I need you to work with me because you're causing me some psychological, I can't find it. You're, you're causing me some psychological and emotional um, unnecessary stuff that I don't need. It was a marriage card. So if you want to be with me, you want to work with me, let go of this fake love, get into the real um, um, give and take. Don't be trying to ghost me. Get rid of these options, these options and the illusions and shit. Speak up, talk, communicate. Let me know you love me. Make a decision. Stop being at the crossroads. Own your shit. Um, because I know you're experiencing a lot of karma, a lot of deception. Yeah, yeah. Here it go. Yeah. So she's saying, if you want this equal, it's got to be equal. It's got to be fair, right? Get to know me. I got to get to know you. Ex ex accept me for who I am. I have to accept you for who you are. Let's be balanced. Let's communicate together. Let's work together, not against each other. So that's why. They, because they, they, were, they, were, they weren't healed. And they could be under harsh judgment and experiencing a lot of stuff, right? Somebody could be sick. That could wake them up, you know, a sickness, a, a health scare. Or people could be judging them, talking about them. Or they could be experiencing karma. Yeah. So this person had to wake up and realize that they were with fake wannabes and that you were the real. Later, enjoy your Saturday.